Okay, before I get started, I want you guys to go to X, formerly known as Twitter, and follow me there, okay? Follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at FearlessJ2008. I'm pretty active on X now. I will still be making videos on YouTube, but I post a lot on X, and I invite you to go and follow me there. I want to speak on Lisa Murkowski and people like her. And she is a Republican rhino that made the comment that if the Republicans continue to support Trump, she was going to leave the Republican Party. Now, we need people like that. That if you mean no good to the party that you are a part of, and if you are in favor of the other team, then you really don't need to be there, okay? You need to make room for Republicans that are strong and as for American values, okay? So it would be a good thing if she would leave the party because she's a rhino. She support the Democrat agenda. And apparently she likes the way things are now. She likes the direction of this country. She likes to see homeless people open borders and our rights are being stripped. And in the process, her pocketbook is getting fat. So yeah, we don't need people like her, okay? Now, I've heard people make the comment, and these are usually people that's got money, and they said it before, and they're still here in America. If Trump becomes president, they say, I'm leaving the country. Farewell. Goodbye. Because at the, at the, at the direction that this country is now going, we're headed for destruction. The borders are wide open. The enemy is already behind lines. It's just a matter of time. And the sad thing about that is we don't know how or where they are going to attack. These are able-bodied men that are crossing the border. They have no idea who they are. They are unvetted. And Biden, the Democrats support them and the Republican rhinos. They support that. So these are not the kind of people that we need in office. And it, 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 it is, it's mind blowing to me that they never thought about leaving the country or not supporting the Republican party until the thought of Trump being president or because of the fact that the Republican Party are supporting Trump. So in spite of everything that's going on in this nation, this is what it took for them to want to leave the Republican Party or to leave this country. Forget about everything else that's going on. This is what it took. And what exactly did Trump do to make these people hate him so much outside of wanting or desiring to make America great again, in spite of what you think of the man? And most of the people have never met Trump, don't know Trump. They're going solely according to what the media says the Trump-hating media, and you got Black Americans, so-called Black Americans that's praising and celebrating Letitia James and Fannie Willis for what they're doing to Trump. And, and I mentioned in, in prior videos that if you notice, they're using Black Americans to fight their dirty battles. Fannie Willis, Letitia James, 
Uh, the other district attorney that's in New York, I forgot his name. Okay, you got one in North Carolina. They're using Black Americans to fight their battles, and Black Americans got nothing out of the deal. They turn their backs on you. The Democrat Party turn their backs on you. You are the most loyal people in the Democrat Party, and now they're in the process of replacing you. They're taking your tax dollars, things they promised you, they're giving it to illegal immigrants. And what I find quite interesting is you have illegal immigrants that attack law enforcement. They were kicking and stomping and beating them down in Times Square. The cops just laid down and took it. And when they were arrested, the illegal immigrants gave the media their finger. They arrested these people and then they released them. Whereas Black Americans, especially the so-called Black man, they ran from the police or had a cell phone in their hands. And the police were so scared, they blicked them. They shot them down like animals. It went through the so-called justice system and the cops were able to walk because they feared their life, but yet they didn't fear the illegal immigrants that were stomping and kicking them in New York City. Think about that for a moment. Think about what the illegal immigrants are allowed to do Blacks were made to look like criminals. Every black man was made to look like a criminal. He was made to, 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 to be a deadbeat, not take care of his family. But yet, now we don't hear much about black American men being criminals because the borders are wide open, terrorists are crossing the borders, and black Americans, for the most part, are still loyal to the Democrat Party. That is mind blowing to me. See, and you wonder why you have people like Candace Owens that would say black men are not intelligent to the point where she married a white man. Interesting, isn't it? And then you got black men saying like, oh, and that's another thing too. Brothers, black men are too sensitive. Stop being so sensitive. If black Americans really want to be up to do better, you need to start pushing education to your children. Instead of your kids dropping out, not going to school, skipping class, not doing what they're supposed to do, you as a parent need to stand up and bring back old school traditions. Make your kids go to school because I see nothing but illegal immigrants and immigrants getting these jobs. They're getting jobs like in the medical field. They're getting jobs as engineers. They're taking a job. These factories that's opening up, they're opening up for the illegal immigrants. You have companies right here in America that's firing. American citizens, and then hiring illegal immigrants because they're able or willing to work for less. So now they're turning, remember what Biden says? He said they want to put y'all back in chains. He was talking about himself. He was talking about the Democrat Party. Because think about it. If you have the migrants that's getting these jobs as medical professions, and engineers, they're putting black females in law to basically fight their battles, right? Making them puppets. So now you find many black females and black males are puppets. They're not helping their own communities. They're helping the Democrat party because the Democrats were the ones that put them in power. So now the only power that black Americans have is power against their own people or power against their a political opponent. 
That's the only power these judges have. That's the only reason why Biden put them in position to go against his political opponents. They're his, they're his attack dogs. I made a video in the past about the Democratic attack dogs. And black American politicians aren't doing anything for their own people. But then when election time come around, the first thing they do, the first thing Democrats do is go to the celebrities, the rap artists, and have them talk to you because they can easily persuade you to vote Democrat and then shame you about voting for Trump. What did Trump ever do to you? But look at what the Democrat Party has done to black people for generations. They want to keep you poor. They want to keep you on the bottom. And you're helping them to destroy you. They're opening the borders for illegal immigrants and their children. But they convinced you to abort your children. They're opening up Planned Parenthoods in your communities and telling you that it's health care. How is it health care for you to abort, abort or murder your unborn child? See, you're destroying your own generation. You're wiping yourselves out. So now they gave you the power to wipe out your own people, and you took it willfully. But... I didn't mean to get on that rant, but it's just mind blowing to what I see coming. I see it just as clear as day. Trust me, an attack on America is soon to take place. It's the handwriting is on the wall and the black community is not prepared. Mainly the black community is not prepared. And the people that the Democrat party put in your neighborhoods, that's funding their health care, that's funding their, their rent, helping them to get jobs, creating jobs for them. They never created jobs for you. And look at when you talk about reparations, they made you feel bad about receiving reparations something that's owed to you. You're in the condition you're in today because of what happened yesterday. We live in the results of yesterday today. That's why you don't know your own language. That's why you don't know your nationality. You're, you're, you're searching for who you are and you have to pay for it. Black Americans are technically not legal citizens. They made you believe that you are a legal citizen, but you're not treated as a legal citizen. Look at how they treat the illegal immigrants, but you have no one to represent you. And you're trusting in your slave master's children to help you, but yet you turn your back on your own selves. You hate yourself, despise yourself. And it's sad. I didn't mean to get on that, that bandwagon. I didn't mean to get on that rant. But it's sad because I see it coming. And when we don't know when or where, these terrorists are going to strike, but it's going to happen. They've already built their army here. Joe Biden has already got his army behind lines, they're here already. And guess what? The United States government are the ones, your tax dollars are going to fund the weaponry for the terror attack. The United States government are gonna be the ones that's gonna supply the firearms, the guns, the same firearms they don't want in the hands of legal citizens. That's why they're working hard to disarm you so that you can't fight back. And you're helping them by keep putting them in 
position of power. Now you fought, you tore down cities, you burned up cop cars and destroyed businesses, man, to try to keep Trump out of office because they made you believe that he's your enemy. But yet your actual enemy is working and now you're suffering, you're struggling, and I don't hear a peep from you. Where's Black Lives Matter? Where's Antifa? Where's all of this energy you had to keep one man out of position? And look what happened. And they're still convincing you that it's Trump's fault. And you believe it, and he's not even in office. And for those of you that's laughing at Trump because of his legal, his legal problems, this is the same thing the Democrats did to Black Americans historically. And now you're laughing at this man because he's going through by the same people that put you in the condition you're in today. Yes, I support reparations. Black Americans don't know their language. They don't know their culture. The, the What they call culture now is created. And for all we know, we're sleeping with each other, committing incest because we don't know. Blacks, the slaves were separated. Families were separated. And so you don't know who your family is, who your bloodline is, unless you do a DNA test. And I think there was one person that did a DNA test and she found out that her husband was actually her cousin. But see, a lot of that is in the black community, but we don't see it because of all the damage that has been done to us throughout time, even to this very day. Your mind is messed up completely because of slavery, and they're convincing a lot of y'all that you don't deserve reparation. Well, when are you going to stand up and fight for it? Take what's yours. So feedback, tell me what you think. I didn't mean to go this route, but people like Lisa Murkowski, the senator, we don't need people like her. Republicans need to become like the Democrats, not evil like the Democrats. But one thing I give the Democrats credit for, they stick together regardless of how much they dislike what they're doing. They stick together. And I believe it's out of fear because you see what happened to the mayor in New York when he started thick talking different about the illegal immigrants. Then they start bringing charges against him. And he quieted down and the charges went away. So you may think you're getting away because you're Democrat, the evil that you do, but the minute you decide to go off course, they're going to remind you, we got something over your head. Why would you want to be a part of that type of party? The Democrat party is the party of the clans. And here it is, you're working alongside the enemies of your ancestors. You're helping them to destroy you. They're letting illegal immigrants and their children over. I remember they, they got schooling for the illegal immigrants. They have um, uh, uh, baby milk and pampers and health care and education for their children. But they put abortion clinics in your neighborhood. They put drugs and illegal guns in your neighborhood. And you're like these ants. They build these ant motels where they set them down and you got ants that would go in there and would bite off the poison, take it in their colonies, kill off their whole colony. Before you realize that the ants are no more. This is what's happening to black Americans. So they put some poison in your communities, drugs, illegal firearms, politicians. And most of these politicians aren't even, aren't even uh, equipped to do the job that they're doing. And yet they gave them those jobs because 
their attack dogs for them. They're doing their dirty works. And you support them. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.